Check, check, check. What's going on, everybody? Lockout men in the building. What's up? What's up? I'm 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 sitting here chilling, you know, enjoying my little time off, you know, getting some rest and relaxation and um and yeah, getting getting my mind right, getting my focus right. You know what I'm saying? So everybody over here talking about this pandemic and what's everybody's doing in it. Uh, me and my girl Nifa Nee, we had a live feed the other night and it didn't go off the way I wanted to go off. So unfortunately, a lot of the key points that was that was talked about in the feed just wasn't right. But rest assured, we will come back and get back at it. Me and Nifa Nee, yeah. You know, we have uh, great conversations with each other. So definitely check out Nifa Nee's interview when I first chopped it up with her. She's uh, she's not only a truck driver, but she's a hip hop artist. She's uh, a motivational uh, type of person, an inspirational type of person. And um, and yeah, if you want to chop it up with her, definitely go over to her page. Uh, let me see if I can if I can bring her page up right quick. Uh Let's see. Hold on. N E F A. Yeah, there she is. Hold on. There she is. I hope I pulled up the right page. I'm I'm Nifa. I hope I'm pulling up the right page for you. But yeah, Nifa Nee right here on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. You guys go check her out. You know, definitely subscribe to her. Uh, she got a lot of good videos, a lot of good content on her video. I mean, on her on her channel, she talks she she talks about everything, everything. So good girl, good driver. You know that's what it is. Me and we will get back. Uh, we will get back together with another live feed. So definitely um, get with my girl Nifa Nee on uh, on her channel right quick. <laughs> Well, one of the one of the topics of discussion when me and Nifa was talking was the viral video of that nurse that quit. Now, this virus got everybody in a tizzy. This virus got everybody got everybody in fear. This virus got everybody doing stuff out of the ordinary this virus got people moving in such a ways that they would never have moved before so i have to bring it back and i just saw this article about this young lady a nurse by the way but this is a different flip though she brought some ppe protectant for her and her co-workers only to come to find out that she couldn't wear it because I guess it wasn't up to hospital standards. Okay, let's go to KMOV4 for the report. Tonight, we're hearing concerns from some in the medical community that they're lacking the protections they need from the coronavirus. Russell Kinsall is talking to a nurse who's quit her job. Russell? Well, Steve, right now, a nurse with St. Mary's Hospital with 32 years experience actually isn't a nurse with St. Mary's Hospital because she resigned this week and it all came down to her wanting to wear a mask when she dealt with patients. The head of a nursing organization here in the state of Missouri said that personal protection equipment, concerns about that, those PPEs and nurses' safety, they're on the rise. A former nurse at St. Mary's Hospital spoke to me about her safety concerns but asked to remain anonymous. Nurses don't want to be part of the problem. They want to be part of the solution. She says she bought N95 masks with her own money to protect the hospital's supply. She doesn't work directly with coronavirus patients, but wanted protection for her and her co-workers because people not showing symptoms can spread the virus. They told us that we had to take them off. And I told her I would not take it off. It was for my safety, my co-worker's safety, my patient's safety. So she resigned. 
St. Mary's Hospital released a statement saying, we believe there is no basis in fact to the allegations that nursing leaders have directed nurses to work in an unsafe manner. We do currently have restrictions on hospital staff supplying their own PPE, as we cannot guarantee that personal PPE is up to CDC standards and has been properly sterilized. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I said, I always said before that social media has really changed the focus of how the humans react now. You know what I'm saying? Us humans have to go online and discuss the business, whether it's your business, my business, their business, anybody's business. That's where everybody jumps on the social media to, to, to do a lot of things. They, they use social media for comfort. There's some, there's some people that really, you know, they, they like being a depressed state. I mean, I, I got my bout with depression all the time. You know what I'm saying? If I didn't have my family, my son here to, uh, to help me out with it, it, it's no telling where, where would I would be right now. So shout out to my son. But some people don't have a son. They don't have a family. Maybe their problems lies with the family and they have to talk with somebody outside of the box. So what they do is jump on social media. They jump on Facebook. That's the, that's the quicker picker upper right there. They go on Facebook and they talk about their, their problems and all like that. Hopefully to reach out to somebody that may have the same problems. And then you reach out to that person. Then you become an inspiration to that person. You know, you, you have a problem that other person might relate to your problem and then bond in with you. That's how you make friends. I get it. I like it. That's positive vibes right there. You know, you, you'll start a Facebook group of people with the same mindset, maybe the same problems. They all come together and uh, solve the problem. Solve the problem. But there's just too many groups out here that's quote unquote trying to save, trying to save, solve problems. You know what I'm saying? But then you also have the social attention getter. You know, somebody, somebody that's jumping on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube to get the attention by any means necessary, whether it's either true or either false. They just dare to, to get the attention. It's like, it's like the popular chick in high school or the popular guy or, or the school jock in high school. Everybody flocks to him because he's popular. Maybe he's not getting any, you know, the attention, but he's now getting the attention. Maybe he didn't set out to get the attention, but there are people that sets out to just get the attention. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad, you know, but um, would, if, if you set out to get the attention in your mind, do you think that you doing it just for the attention, just for the attention? Or are you doing it because it's serious? Now, here's where the thin line comes in at. Now, in your mind, you might be doing it because it's serious. It's something that happened to you. You feel strongly about it. But then on the flip side, you see what it could also bring you. It could bring you that fame. It could bring you that viral sensation. It'll put you up on a pedestal and give you your 15 minutes. And sometimes that 15 minutes is not all that great because within that 15 minutes that you're, that you're, that you're there, you're going to get a whole host of people that's coming your way. Let's talk about that for a minute. Let's, let's talk about this, this situation that was down in 
Georgia, I believe. That was down in uh that was down in Georgia. I believe she's uh down in Georgia. Let's see. Let me see if I can uh bring her up. Bring her up. Give me a second. We we're gonna see if we can bring her up. Here we go. All right. So this is coming from KMOV for the news. Uh, well, let's let's rewind the clock before we before we even come up on on this right quick. Let's rewind the clock. Let's go back. Hold on. It keep hold on. Here we go. Let's go back. Now I believe this it's is, I believe this is like uh a couple of days ago. But they actually they're not talking about it. So a couple of days ago, a while back, a young lady by the name of Melissa Thomas Scott, she's a nurse. Uh, in Albany, Georgia. Yeah. She went viral after sharing her video explaining why she quit her job at her hospital. Now, if, if you hadn't seen the video, if you hadn't seen the video, it's all over the internet. You know what I'm saying? I'll just, uh, let's see. Hold on. I'll just give you a little bit of the background. So I basically I just got to work. Um, I'm not trying to be unprofessional. I'm upset. I just quit my job. I clocked in, find out that I'm being sent to a corona floor when they know that I have kids at home who I can't send away for, you know, to stay away from me. My manager sent me to a floor that is being tested for corona. She knows my health history. She knows all of this. I quit. I care about the patients and all, but my family and my my life, they matter. They come first. Lavika Stewart is evil. She's evil. She knows my health history. I told her my kids don't have anybody to go to while they're here. I can't send my kids away like everybody else. I'm done. I'm leaving. My life matters and my kids matter. Okay, so after listening to that, what do you guys think? Now, she's in a profession where everybody looks up to her. She's also in a profession that she took that she took an oath to take care of patients, whether whether well or sick. You know what I'm saying? Her her life matters. It really do. It really do. But did she do that to come on Instagram? First, I, I got a couple of questions. First is, was that necessary? Was it really necessary to come on Instagram and spur your business like that? That's the first question. The second question is, why? Okay. Now, maybe you have a health history or whatever the case, we don't know, you know, because she came on the Breakfast Club and explained a little bit more points to the matter. So without going into full detail, here's a little bit of the backstory from uh, the Breakfast Club. I've already taken care of coronavirus. I've already been assigned one of those patients. OK, after that patient, it was a patient that was being tested for coronavirus, for starters. My concern, I even brought my concern up to the charge nurses, my team leaders. I'm like, hey, here's a p part of the story that people don't know. My husband is in another state. He's not even here. Like, if I have to self-quarantine, who's going to watch my children? It's not the fact, oh, because I have children. It's who's going to watch them if I have to be self-quarantined. That's the thing. After I took care of this initial patient, 
I felt sick the following weekend. Like I was coming out with a cold, and all I could think about is, was this patient positive? So when I went back to work, I asked my team leader, I said, how will we know or will we be notified if our patients come back positive? Oh, yours was positive. Your manager, the manager, I don't want to say her name, the manager should have sent you an email. I wow. said she didn't. I pulled it up then. We looked, double-checked, no email. Everybody else that had contact with this patient, they are like, oh, she called us. She emailed us. I felt some type of way about that. I said, why did well, there you have it. A little bit of the bat story from uh, the Breakfast Club. You guys want to hear the rest of that interview? Definitely check out the Breakfast Club on uh, YouTube. Just type it in, the Breakfast Club. But um, like I said before, I mean, it, it might have been an issue with her and her, you know, her and management. But still, why come on Instagram Live to vent? your frustrations knowing that it's going to that is going to get a backlash the way it did so maybe you know she did that for attention or maybe she was genuine with it i guess we will never know as a matter of fact i reached out to her i i sent her an email uh asking her to you know come on with me so we can so we can get a so we can get a better understanding of her of her psyche at the time now she says now i can bring it up she says now she regrets it you know when you do every you, when you do anything out of fear or without thinking and then you a couple of days later, maybe a day later or something like that, you just feel you you feel that you went at it all wrong. And then you start regretting the decisions that you made. Now, you probably was making, I don't know, you're a nurse. Probably you was making about 30, maybe about 40, about 45, you know, 45K a year. Now you just dropped it. Now your video went viral. So now it's all over the internet for anybody to type in your name and that video is going to pop up. That video is going to make you, uh, it's, it's going to make you because it's all over the internet now. That's why it's imperative to be careful of what you put on the internet. Okay. Now don't get me wrong. I have my, I, I got my own haters out there. You know what I'm saying? And I, you know, I put what I put on the internet, but I went back and took it down. Luckily for me, it didn't go viral. <laughs> Luckily it didn't go viral, but there is a hater out there that is hating on me right now. So, um, yeah, you know, but that was my mistake, you know, but do I regret that? No. I don't regret that. At the time, I wasn't thinking. I was thinking more of, of saying, getting the information out and saying that it could happen to anybody. You know what I'm saying? So don't think that things, you know, what you see out here, that it may not happen to you. It can and will happen to you. So with this young lady right here, she went viral, so her name is synonymous with this video now. So my other question is this, being that she did this and now the video is out there, will she get picked up by another hospital? Now that she quit because of the virus, uh, she didn't want to go work on that floor, um, would another hospital or or health did she let me rephrase it did she trash her career in the healthcare field let me know in the comments below did she trash her career in the healthcare field simply by going on the video on viral video and expressing her feelings and quitting the way she did
I mean, she might not have something. Well, now she probably might have something to back up on because now she got her 15 minutes of fame. She's getting calls from every news outlet out there. That's And some of them news outlet will pay for your story. So now she's 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 viral. She's got her 15 minutes of fame. And of course, she's going to go on probably every talk show. She's the talk of the town. Why you did it? What was the reason? Yada, yada, yada. Now, let me flip the script on her for a second. Let, let me bring it to let me bring it to us, the truck drivers. We get sent somewhere what well, we get sent everywhere. We drive all over. We hit these 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 hardest hit areas. New York, Louisiana, Chicago. We got to go there. I mean, are we going to make a video and say, "Hey, you know, my trucking company is sending me over to uh corona infested Chicago and and they know my health situation and they know they don't they know that I don't want to fuck with that and 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 I quit. I'll drop the truck off right here. Let me tell you what will happen. If you drop the truck anywhere other than the place specifies where you need to drop that truck at, you're gonna get hit with an abandonment. Period. You're going to get hit with an, in an abandonment. All right. Now, some trucking companies will forgive, will forgive the abandonment depending on the situation. Like if you leave it at a truck stop and you let them know prior to where you leave it at, then maybe you can get back on with another company. Maybe they'll forgive it or whatever. But some companies don't forgive a truck abandonment depending on the situation. Now, here's another situation. Would that truck driver uh, put the kibosh on his trucking career because he didn't want to go to Chicago, Louisiana, or New York because of the coronavirus? Oh, my bad. I said that word. My fault, you two. I'm going to bring it back to the outbreak. My bad. So what do you, what do you guys would think will happen, you know? The truck driver would get his twenty his 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 fifteen minutes of fame, his YouTube channel that he posted the video on to go viral, and everybody will come to subscribe to him. He'll jump from a hundred subscribers all the way up to ten thousand subscribers and so forth and so on. But after that fifteen minutes is up, I mean is up and it's time to get back to work and it's time to get back that that money. Uh, is it going to be uh, any kind of way to get to, to, to get back in on the good graces of the trucking industry? Is it going to be a way for her to get back in the in the good graces of the healthcare industry after her video went viral? After she did all the talk shows, everybody that's going to type in her name, oh, I'm sorry, you, uh, you, you, we we can't mess with you. There was a crisis. And you're one of the you're one of the people in the forefront that's supposed to step up like us truck drivers. We stepping up to the cause. We we stepping up. We stepping up to the cause. We coming to we 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 coming together, doing the same thing that we've been doing for years. But now we're being more appreciative of doing it. But back then we wasn't. Same thing with the healthcare profession. They, they, they've been doing that for years. Taking care of the elderly, taking care of the sick, taking care of people that needs them. But here you are saying, my family needs me. And that's true. My kids need me. And that's true. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to knock you for that. Your kids need you. Your family needs you without you. Who is going to be there to provide for the kids? Who is going to do that? If you get sick, who is going to do that? But on the flip side of that, 
I don't know if it's an oath. I don't know if if it's any uh, anything that you had to sign or anything like that. But you took the role of health care provider. Now I'm sure they probably ask you to go down there to to the floor and do whatever you do whatever need be but I'm sure they're not going to send you down there unprotected you know they're not going to send you down there unprotected they're going to make sure that you have your gloves on your they they're going to make you they're going to break they're going to break badge you you know what I'm saying the hazmat suits they're going to they're going to break badge you they're going to make sure that you that you're in in everything that you need to possibly take care of of the patients. Now, don't get me wrong. Just like in the movie Outbreak, anything can happen. Anything. Anything can happen. And as me being the truck driver, and as you guys out there watching that are truck drivers, you know as well as I do, anything can happen. In a blink of of a fucking eye. Anything can happen. So what do you guys think? I mean, was she wrong for doing what she did? I mean, she didn't want to she she didn't want to go down. She didn't want to she didn't want to put her family at risk. Here's some of the comments. Uh one commenter says Somebody call her. Yeah, yeah, that part. Here is some of the comments. Uh, God is going to allow, wait, it says right here. God is going to allow to find another job quickly when she feels safe. Do you guys think that's true? I mean, I put my, I put my faith in God all the time. All the time. I know God got me. You know what I'm saying? I pray to him morning, noon, night, earlier in the day, car, truck, all the time when I get up, when I face. Hell, I even pray over my son and his girlfriend. When I'm in there talking to them, they don't know that I be saying the silent prayer in the back of my head. I be in my son's room playing with his Nintendo Switch while I'm sitting on his bed playing this Nintendo Switch while saying a silent prayer at the same time. That's what I do. I know God got me. But God got her? I hope so. I hope so. There's a lot of mixed reactions for her doing what she did. Another commenter says she should have, hold on, whoops. It says right here, she should have felt sick and go home for two weeks for pay. Come on, bro. You trying to, you, you, you. <laughs> always somebody trying to beat the system. Always somebody trying to beat the system. Now, maybe she could have did that. She could have played, she could have played that role. She could have played, yo, I don't feel good. I, I feel like I'm coming down with, I'm coming down with the outbreak and I need to go home. But as she said in her video, she didn't want to take it home to her kids, bruh. So how that's going to work? Uh, another commenter says, girl, I agree with you. 100. The same commenter says she did that on purpose. Do you guys think she did that on purpose? Do you think that she came before the clout? This pandemic, everybody, everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing crazy shit for the clout. You had the dude on the plane that over here talking about, you know, I I I, I just did that for views. You got this fool in the Walmart rubbing his tongue up against the, the toiletries and all like that. They, they doing it for the clout. So she comes on social media, Instagram, and do what she did 
Was that for the clout or was that for real? Again, it goes back to my question. Why would you do it? And then the number one question is, would you have done it? Social media changed the face of how, how people act now. So, yeah. So she's not the first though. Let's, let's switch gears before I jump on up out of here. Let's, let's switch gears right quick. She's not the first. <laughs> and I'm sure, I am damn sure she won't be the last. She won't be the last. She damn sure will not be the last to use social media to, to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Quit or, or whatever. But she's not the first she's not the first how about how about this clip from the breakfast club talking about the reporter that quit on her uh, job. clearly nobody told natalia this and what happened next is exactly why you don't eat your empanadas before they are cooked now this is where i need a translator all my spanish-speaking folks will know exactly what happened because they understand spanish the rest of us have to rely on myself and dj dramos to translate for you okay let's go to rtve for the report please <laughs> Now, Dramos, translate what you just heard. Okay, so uh, she's celebrating that she... All right. I'll help you out in that department, bro. I'll take over from here. So, <laughs> she won the lottery. Just like everybody do, they get excited, they 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 I they they yeah, hoop and hollering and all like that. Especially for people that are working, they get excited. But see what they don't do and what they don't find out is they don't look at the fine print. The fine print. You got to find out how much you actually won. Now she came on and she was like, the her coworkers was like, "Yo, are you coming in tomorrow?" And she was like, no, 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 no. But then only come to find out a little bit later that the payout was only $5,000. <laughs> imagine, imagine winning the lottery, thinking that you won $50 million, but only $5 thousand dollars is only paid to you now what you gonna do you're already on air on live tv now being that tv is different than the internet but still it's on live tv you went on air and said no nah, i quit i ain't fucking with you i'm done were they gonna bring her back did she ever go back i don't know ain't no more ain't i tried to look for the follow-up story to this but there's no more follow-up story as I said before, as I said before, it's it's not the first time. It's 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 not the first and it damn sure won't be the last time like this young lady right here. Do you guys remember her? Do you guys do you guys remember this? owner of the Alaska Cannabis Club will be dedicating all of my energy toward fighting for freedom and fairness, which begins with legalizing marijuana here in Alaska. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but fuck it. I quit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> She says, as far as this job, I quit. Wanted here in Alaska. And as for this job, well, not that I have a choice, but fuck it. I quit. That was a superior mic drop right there. That was a superior mic drop right there. 
for that ass. For that ass. The mic drop right there. Now, of course, she was a uh, owner of uh, of a weed shop. You know what I'm saying? She, uh, hold on right quick. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta play that. I gotta play that. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, she's the owner of the weed shop, cannabis shop, cannabis CEO. She was also a news anchor for a long time. She was a news anchor for a, a good minute, but then she went into business for the, uh, for the weed. Smoke weed every day. And uh, she started, uh, you know, she, she started, she wanted to do a community. Now, unfortunately, she's a news anchor. So, of course, she's a public figure. And I guess the company or the, the, the TV station that she rocks out with didn't want to be, uh, didn't want to be associated with that. So, she did the next best thing. The weed lady, smoke weed every day, has decided to quit on air. Now again, I I get it. You know, maybe you want your fifteen minutes of fame. You want your you want your shine in the box right now. But is that or was that necessary? Was it really necessary to do that? You know. But as I said before, there was a viral video that uh, that was sweet, actually. Hold on, right quick. This this happened a while back. This this video right here happened a long time ago, and this was an awesome video. And it was kind of it was it was kind of awesome. Now this one right here, I really liked it. I don't I don't know what you know, like I said, I went back to do a follow up on it, but I like this video. Okay. So Sorry about that. Sorry about that. What I'm going to have to do is probably play the video and then I'll probably edit it with some non-music. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video and then uh, enjoy it. Enjoy the video. So it's 4.30 a.m. And she's at work. And she set up everything. She sacrificed her relationship, time, and energy for this job. Like many of us do. Many of us sacrifice a lot for for a company, you know, to make it, you know, to, to be expanding. video and uh is she a bad dancer a bad dancer at all but there it is I quit I quit I quit damn it I quit yes sir I quit That's a good video. I like that. I like that. You know, I like that video. She already, 
she in the backstory to this video she already has something set up this was this was more for fun pretty much you know this she already told her bosses that you know that she she already put in her two weeks and she just thought that this was like a nice little getaway you know so this wasn't as serious as the melissa video How fast way like everybody else i'm done i'm leaving my life matters and my kids matter so who's again back to her you know more power to her you know like i said i i you know i pray for everybody including her and i i guess i guess i'm torn on the situation I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know what I would have done, but I know that I probably wouldn't have came on Instagram Live or Facebook Live or Facebook or or any social media to do that. Now, don't get me wrong. I did, but I, I went back and, and did what I did because, you know, I had to think about. You guys just really have to be careful what you put what you put on the internet what you put out there you just got to be real real careful on what you put out there sometimes you probably might have to step back and think about it for a little bit and say does this help me or does it just help somebody does it does this help me or does it help somebody like me? Is the information that I'm that I'm putting out there will help somebody uh, that will help somebody in my same situation? That's what I think you got to think about sometime when you when you put stuff out there on the internet. You got to see if it a it a it a help somebody. So, with that said, um. Uh, I hope you guys take it easy. I hope you guys feel great. Have a good day. Stay awesome out there. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Definitely wash your hands. You know what I'm saying? Wash your hands. Wash your hands. And just be careful of who you interact with. You know, just be careful who you interact with. Stay safe out there, guys. And uh, on that note, we are gone.